Go ahead, Cleveland. Uh, Junior's retired because he should have never been racing. He was trying to be his dad, but you you can't name your kid Tiger Woods Junior. Yeah, that's true. Go ahead, Viper. Or, take or, up the rear. Or Dale Earnhardt Junior. I mean, that's a lot of pressure to put on somebody. Yeah, it is. Believe me. Go ahead, Viper. I'm gonna come up last. And Junior was not his dad. He didn't drive like his dad. I mean, he didn't, he, he didn't talk like his dad. He wasn't his dad. Well, he wasn't that terminated either. Like, he knew how to drive. He just wasn't his father. Yeah, but I tell you what, he, that some bitch could race Talladega. He had Talladega like that was his bitch. Oh, yeah, he did. No lies on that. But it's all good, man. I, I love Dale. I mean, hey, he rest in peace, but a lot of people that, that praise him, because if, if you weren't a Dale Earnhardt fan, then you didn't like Dale Earnhardt. Yeah, it's it was, it was, it was like he Trump, did. bro. Dale Earnhardt was like Trump. <laughs> you loved him or hated him. Guy. You know what I'm saying? Dale wrecked my guy. Are you back in here, Big Al? Yes, you are. Can I get some damage fixed real quick while you guys are here? We already left. Because I'm lagging a motherfucker. Well, I'll do 30. Well, I'm seeing Tony over there in the parking lot still. Oh, damn, that's how bad I'm lagging. Somebody got shit on their phone with that? Yeah. Watch it, damn, i yeah, I don't even know, man. I give up. And then, you know, think about it like this, too. If somebody in NASCAR would have drive like Dale today, I imagine where that son of a bitch would be. He would have been kicked out. Yeah, kicked out, I guess, for jail. I'm outside, man. My drug now the has a triple hatchel on the back. Yeah, got you guys inside hammer down. Yep, big ass falling in behind ass monkey. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I, yeah, I watch that show a lot. Cash monkey garage. Oh, Richard Rollins. Yep. Actually, I went to Vegas not too long ago. And I, I got to meet him. Yep, that motherfucker owes me 20 bucks. Oh, he does? That's the way I see it. I'll see you next week. Yeah, Tony. What's up, man? Make that stripe red, man, and it'll fit right on your trailer, you know what I mean? Say what? That green stripe on your uh, truck. Oh, uh, yeah. If you made it red, it'll fucking match your monkey's mouth. Yeah, but see, my light scheme on my truck is green. Well, you ain't got no green on your trailer. Yeah, I'm about to switch. I'm, I'm going to switch it up. 
you're gonna see. You're gonna see. I'm gonna switch it up. When you see my other my other my other NASCAR trailer. This one, I'm going to another truck. I just grabbed it for now. Yeah, I got you. It looks good together. I was just like, yeah, if you painted that stripe red, that shit looks like it's, it looks like it belongs. Oh, yeah, I was like, yeah, uh, Ron said something about getting a uh, gas monkey one, so. Whoa. Oh, the lag the is so real. real. The lag is real. I don't have any at the moment. Well, how about you guys go by me then? Get her, Scott. Scott, get him. Get him, Scott. Get him, Scott. Uh, Ron. Did you put bigger motors in here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'm, running, I'm running a 14, 1,448 horsepower on the 7 speed. Oh, uh, did you add you? So you added new engines? Yep. Well, there's been engines in here. Yeah, there is. I like them. They got good sound. Yeah, Percy though. I opened it and that little baby went to giggle and laugh. That's all. Randy and Porsche. Yes. Are there new engines available now that they that weren't available? Like more or the bigger engines? I don't think so. Okay, no. that's what I was asking. So the 1,088 is still the biggest we got. No, I got. Oh, we a have a we have a we have a 1420. I got a 14480. How long have we had those? The whole time. Okay, I, I didn't I didn't know that. I know we've had a 1420 the whole time. I got 1,448. I think I he's doing go. some fucking magic shit, though. Oh, me? Yeah. No, that's, an, that's an engine. That's in the list. Oh, it's a 1420, then. I'll let you at the next, uh, when I get to the next repair station, I'll let you know. Nah, we're all good. I was just curious if he had added oh. any new motors or not. All I know, this thing tops out at 150, anywhere 150, 150. 180. Go Cleveland. Go seventy five. Seventy five. Ooh, glit uh lag spike there. I had just one little spike right there, right by that white car. Are you lagging? You me, Are you lagging? Not at all. No, I, ain't gonna, I don't have hey. any right now. Yeah, I'm lagging. Like Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, man. It's like, I don't know, the way that this is how it wants us, or I guess find a position or find a distance. Yep. I think it's about cars spawning. I don't really think it's about anything else. Are you going to turn your blinker off, Cleveland? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, if you want to keep on some flashing, like, why don't you just put, like, the hazards on, so, like, both. Whoa. That was a like spike you had, Ron. Hell yeah, bro, because I, I just went, thing. like, right up his ass, dude. Like, yeah. if you need to stop, please let me know, because I'm, like, I'm a whole truck and trailer length ahead, like, you know, behind you, but I was just, like, there was no road between my truck and your trailer. I mean, I'm not lagging, so I don't, I don't understand. I'm yeah, not I'm lagging, lagging right now. now either. 
Exactly. Yeah, right now, I'm not liking either. This is this is the road we need to be in right here. Gotta stay like this, then, fellas. Lock this, lock your speed right there. Watch that truck, big out. Roger that. You're fucking starving. Hey, it's awesome rolling with you guys here on this Mother's Day Eve, man. This has been awesome. It's been a fun experience today just hanging out with the guys over there at the Lot Lizard Lizard Logistics Complex. You know, and putting some miles in the book once again, that feels really good. So I just want you to know that Big Al appreciates you and what you do. I got uh, three car links, uh, about four car links between you, me and you, uh, Rod. Either you're gonna eat it or you're not, no bitch. With the shark? Asshole. Which thing happens, I got duck over real quick. Where is faster up there. You still at the same speed. Yeah, you're at the same speed. This is a beautiful convoy. Stay in lane one, seven oh seven, lane one. Slowing down, I believe. Am I tripping? No, oh, we don't have to slow down. Rock and roll. Ooh. Cut him off, cut him off. <laughs> that was clean. Brother, turn his shit off. I have to repo that motherfucker from him because he don't play with it. Can't do that. This ain't no damn right. Car, right. You can't do that. What do you mean? You got that $200 damn RC and he just fucking let it collect us? Hell no. Passing the petties. Watch the petties on the left. That's the door. 
Somebody down for Richard Petty taking forever to get to the race. Yeah. That that's because Richard Petty racing about that speed right about now, you know what I mean? <laughs> he must have told him, you better not go fast with my car back there. That's what he told Bubba, ain't it? What? What did he say? He told Bubba, "Don't you go fast in my car." Because I got uh, five different types of NASCAR games to play on my emulator from, uh, from the uh, Nintendo. Uh, from the Nintendo Wii all the way up to the PlayStation Two. Yeah. And <laughs> Now what's the rest of the story? All right guys. In a second I'm gonna let go of my wheel and walk away so y'all um just watch out for my <laughs> you <better> move. <laughs> Hey, I wish we had an autopilot. We just step back and let the truck drive itself. Then what's yeah. the point of the game? We'll still be sitting here keeping an eye on it. Because that's coming, reality, that's coming through. Shit, hell, reality is if they release the rest of those trucks, there it goes. He let go of the wheel. Because <laughs> uh, they already got, uh, Tesla already made the, uh, See, uh, Tesla already oh. made them electric trucks that don't need no driver at all. Yeah, I see it. It's monitored. Yep, the bottom line computer. is, you know, they keep coming up with all this automated shit, but fuck, we're still got to consume the shit, so you're going to have to have a job doing something. Yeah, fixing it. Oh, dude, they're making, they're making it where all of that shit is monitored by computers itself. It don't need no human to monitor. Well, so I'm saying the human is going to have to find something to do with all this free time. You still have trucks out there that's not uh, doesn't have all the stuff like one for driver. And that's where I'm gonna be driving a real fucking truck, not no automated <laughs> disc. Yep. I mean that's where I stand. That's my mark. That's what I believe in. I still, I still believe it's it's a huge. <laughs> I was bullshit. wondering, wait, what the fuck? Why does it keep moving like that? And then I realized I was moving my finger, and I was like, oh no, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jesus, that the dinosaurs weren't as selfish as you fucks. Oh, like they uh, came out with an all electric uh, Ford F 350 pickup now. Yeah, I'm not electric, dude. Huh? But, but anyway, the solar panels on the top of it, and on the uh, Connie Connor that comes over the bed, and it's bad. It could go another 300 miles with that. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 800 miles that truck is going now. It's not my thing. I'm, a, I'm 50, man. I'm, I'm a gas breather. Yeah, I am too. That's why I'm my. Gonna, I'm going to say it like this, though, man. You, know, you guys got to understand that those mines are not like oil mines, like oil fields. There's there's not as much cobalt as people think there is. Oh, there you go. Look, California can't even keep their fucking lights on fucking year round. They don't even have enough water. So the fact that they're gonna create a car that they gotta plug Whoa. in, that just blows my mind. Ron, I knew it was the reason why I liked you, man. You holla cobalt, man. See, that's my type of guy. And I got right now. I got. Talking about cobalt tools, or you talking about cobalt like from the earth? The car. Both. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I have cobalt tools, but. Um, oh, not natural resources. Oh. But I'm talking about natural resources. There's only one mine like this in the world right now. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. So like we can't. That, that's what I see about, you know, everyone looking into the future with, you know, electricity. If it was going to be used in, say, a quarter 
of our industry of vehicles, I could see it being used, but I also see not just gas being the other three quarters, but we've already also figured out as humans how to take the carbon out of the air and make it fuel. Yeah. So why aren't we doing that? Because that should really help us dramatically. Well, and let me you want to know what Let what me help you with this. Oil. Let me hit you with this. Yeah. Hydrogen. Yeah, well, the, the, well I told you to try hydrogen, but it, it, they couldn't make it efficient enough. Yeah, the they got it over. And, uh, I think they're doing really good now, though, Big Al. Yeah, like I on hydrogen, I think they've literally made it to where you can do like, you know, as compared to like two dollars a gallon in gasoline. All I'm gonna or say ours about was it, like four. All I'm gonna say about it is this. The one thing you can't recreate when the power goes out is power. Mm -hmm. I mean you can't create the electricity without having some type of fucking chemical reaction, so go go with that, man. Go with that, go with God. <laughs> I mean, I think we need, I don't think it's about solar panels. I think it's more about using the Earth's natural ocean as a way to get electricity. We need to figure out how to get electricity out of ocean current. Who did that? Uh, California or uh, Australia's got flat like that already. Yeah. I mean, but that's the whole thing. Like, we need a lot more for it to actually be substantial for our world. It's not a sustainable. It just electric cars are not a sustainable fucking energy source. Period. Right. Well, hydrogen is though. Like I mean, but like I said though, we can use them as vehicles so that we're not using so much oil. But people don't understand. Oil actually reproduces in the earth naturally. So where oil was taken from, oil actually comes back to. Now, and then if we could talk you motherfuckers into, like, not putting yourselves in the lead boxes and just putting yourselves in, in, in doing what the dinosaurs yes. did, just yes. give back. Just, just some wood, bro. Yeah, just give back to the fucking earth, that, you know, that you fucking took from the whole time you're there. Now we're getting somewhere. That's how you're going to help your kids. You want to help your kids? Don't get put in a lead box. I also don't think that we should be talking about, um, you know, our sea levels, like it's global warming. Our oceans have been rising for a very, very, very long time. All the water, all the water does is just displaces itself amongst the continent. It's just like the, the, the axis of the earth, the poles are, are in the process of shifting. So things that are currently like not underwater will eventually be underwater and vice versa. That's just the natural balance of the of the damn earth right and then also people don't understand when those poles are moving that when the polarities are changing it actually takes down a lot of our um, protection from all the solar flares that the sun's putting off so and that can actually be a reason that we are much hotter because our north oh, yeah. pole is moving a whole bunch oh yeah do you look at the, the melting rate of the glaciers and then there was just that uh the uh earthquake the big tsunami earthquake that occurred uh and they said that that basically we need to release enough gases into the earth into the atmosphere right the uh the explosions release enough into the atmosphere that eventually in florida where you're at ron in the next three to five years you guys are going to need coats winter coats yeah i'm i'm actually thinking that's going to be a revelation to a lot of people to understand that our axis is actually move on our planet. Well, if you think of it too, if we get that uh, San Andreas earthquake would hit, if that thing hits, uh, long Arizona border be a water. Well, see what I'm saying is this one happened, and but it released so much cosmic gas into the earth, the volcanic ash, that is actually it caused the sun not to be able to penetrate it so it's worse than like it's its own kind of ozone and that started a premature freezing i guess if you will in uh florida that's just it's occurring it yeah, just it takes uh, it takes years for this stuff to actually manifest itself that's why yeah, it's hard to tell people that you know 
look back in time uh, when the earth was around before we were around. Look what happened. We had the, the high water level and everything back then before we were around. Oh. Oh. Dude, this was like, uh, what's happening in that cab there, buddy? <laughs> yeah, Cleveland kind of go over the road there for a second. I got my turn. Whoa. Definitely a reason to swerve and you know go other ways. Jack, I thought he was gonna roll it there. Whoa! Whoa! I almost think that one was on purpose, but no, it was a glitch. No, it was on purpose. What caused your truck to bounce up and down like that? Yeah. I was doing it again. I tell you, I think. This Freightliner is my favorite truck of all trucks on the road, as far as a road truck, you know what I mean? Just like cruising, putting in a million miles, this Cascadia is definitely the truck that you want to just jump in and drive across the country. Yeah, I got the uh, Cascadia, I like it too. Like if I, if I could, if somebody said, hey Al, here's a million dollars, go out there and get you a truck, I'd jump in a Cascadia and, and be like, okay, just leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, that's a nice truck. I was looking for, um, like, accessories for them. The only you know, thing... You know, I, yeah, I know. You, think, you know what I think the hardest thing will be about driving this truck on the real road? Staying the fuck away. Yeah. If this truck I'm driving was real with the engine and the exhaust and everything, the noise would keep me awake. <laughs> yeah, my uh, truck I'm getting, I'll tell you guys about, it's going to have a straight pipe on it. I think I want to go fishing. I was just thinking the same thing. Where are you, really? Yeah. Yep, I think I want to go fishing. I think that's what I'll be doing up here, too, going with my friend, go catch pigs, uh, catfish and stuff. <laughs> Big, large mouth bass, too. Is it time to go fishing? Sure. Well, we fish uh, 24 7 up here year round. I think we're going uphill a little bit right now. I don't know, my speed hasn't changed and actually backed off a couple of times. I mean, I'm holding it like five. Yeah, that's, yeah, we're definitely going uphill. Yeah, I'm doing 75 miles an hour. Yeah, but we're doing it, I'm, I'm talking about like the fuel mileage right now. It's like poor. It's like we're not on level ground. Yeah, I'm getting 5.4 miles per gallon. Now I'm getting four nine. Yeah, it's been like a five four for ever since we've been uh, a hauling these holes. Has it changed? Has it? Yeah, 
big, big out. Turn that into a, your own personal way. I don't have to worry about lagging over here. Yeah. Whoa. He's right behind us. I just ain't heard him say nothing. I was just checking out. is there for the team to see if we can't climb two or three base, uh, places on the rank. I see what you're doing there, Tony. I feel it. I like that. I like how you got it set up, but What color are those lights on your step? Tom, I hear you. What color are those lights on your step? Uh, I got them all green. Yeah, I see what you're doing there. I like it. That's a sharp looking truck. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, mine's green, uh, blue on one side, orange on the other. Jesus, we just drove across this fucking road, guys. You guys do know this is like what we took from wherever the hell we were. Yeah. We'll pick this job. We're going up to Chicago, aren't we? I have no idea. I'm, we're going across 80 right now. I know that. Yeah, Chicago. Yeah, we're going up to Chicago. Taking this, uh, these cars up there. Yeah, it's a special boat. I kind of like these long cars and stuff that fall on the other boats. It kind of breaks the, uh, our loads that we need to carry. Yeah, I mean... I'm going to say the guys that have, you know, been in here look at it like this, that we drive so much that I don't really think we give a shit what we pull. So we can all pull something like this. And I guess none of us really would mind pulling what someone else wants to pull. But if we just had, say, I don't know, flatbed Wednesdays, <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be it's fun. like, you know, everyone's rocking a flatbed on a Wednesday. Like everyone's rocking a reefer on a Thursday, like something. Yeah, like we reefer got, Friday or Yeah, I got all the trailers. Now write that shit up, please just get it up. That's what a that's what a company does. It's like a bowling league, you know? That was close truck. <laughs> I was right on his bumper.
Walk it like a dog. Walk it like a dog. I walk it like a dog. Whoa. That was my bad. I was trying to get a, a shot. All of us driving uh -oh. the camera. Oh, cool. need a different uh, trucks and all different loads and uh, different trailers. Yeah, I usually use Peterbilt's to pull big stuff and then I usually use these to either a flat face to pull like Whoa, single trailers. Oh. Ooh. Watch yourself there back there, Mr. Brown. I said we're taking this exit coming up here, fellas. How fast are you going, Cleveland? Seven five. Did you get through that, Tony? Yeah, I had a car. That oh my <laughs> Oh well, you're coming with coming with me now. Yeah, you obviously didn't see that car. He was right beside you. Well, yeah, I drive next to him. He hits me. Guess what? He's standing between my two dudes. So I'm dragging. Watch out, guys! Watch out! Take that outside lane. Take that outside lane, there, Tony. He fucking glitched me right onto it. He uh. I'm right back to lagging again. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, I'm waiting on these guys. I'm doing 65. You guys want me to go slower? I'm coming. Call them in a few. This is only a few minutes more. Damn, Tony, that shit look lit at night, bro. That truck's badass, bro. I thought that was Cleveland coming up on me for a second. It took it took me a minute to build this one up. I ain't gonna lie. Is that real points? The grandma and them got. I'm gonna pull off. Can we get some of those? Well, Rob, we're up. 
We're at less than 100 miles from the drop. Cleveland's coming up on the left side. You guys go ahead, though. I gotta go. My homie's here. Okay, roger that. Yeah, I was dragging that red car until I got up to speed and he went flying across the highway. What did this boat leave? Really? Just gonna say something to you.
Capital One. Gift style with an extra 25% off gifts for Mother's Day when you use your coupon or Macy's card. Plus great deals on fragrance sets from mom's favorite brands like Carolina Her that noise again. Hold on, let me put you on speaker. Contact us 24-7 on the phone, online, or on the mobile app. We're using intro teachers, coming out of the covered subject to policy terms. You're number one for hits in hip-hop. One power. Come on, come on. 